Ah, la, 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 la. Electric this, electric that. Apparently, Avis, Hertz, all these rental companies are pushing drivers to use all these electric cars. The first time I resumed doing Uber, I went to Avis and they offered me, I said, well, I, saw, I saw like two or three regular fuel cars and they offered me an electric car, a little bitty car called Bolt, Chevrolet Bolt, little bitty car. I was really, really out of my mind. Little bitty car. I, I, I like, I like, <clears throat> I like cars with spacious uh, trunks because you know we got some of these customers heading to the airport or moving out with a bunch of bags or luggages or trash bag, whatever. So having a, 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 a the, the, the restrained type of trunk got me nervous luckily i didn't have that customer who had a lot of bags since that was a long time i driven he was 260 but then he went to 2 219 i believe and i got an extra insurance he went to 375 so i i always rent to drive for uber which which was okay back then because i was a sus driver I could have made 400 in, in a day sometime, you know, or at least 300. But now, that's a long time I've driven. So it's painful to get this car. You drive the electric car, it's cool. It's silent, it's quiet. But guess what? Now you see the meter going down. Do you need electricity? I drove, but I, I drive the car to the to a station. You get to the station. There's two older drivers filling up the car and one and DVD with his personal car. You got to wait two, three hours. I call my friend. Hey, bro, you got a Tesla? You, I, I, you told me about that Tesla scooter, all this, all that. And he explained to me, Tesla has more uh, charging station around town, around the country. So it's easier to reserve and go and charge. I got an electric car personally. It was cool to try that because I seen everybody went electric but me. And I try. It was good for the experience. But as a driver, I don't think it was cost effective because when we drive, you got momentum. Sometimes you got that momentum, you really want to drive. And guess what? You got to go and fill up the electricity. With the gas station, you can take a quick five to ten minute break and you're out of there. For the electric cars, you gotta go and sit an hour to fill up the 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 the, the, the battery. And sometimes you pull up to a charging location. Guess what? This charging station doesn't work. We trying to we trying to work, man. So for me, paying almost four hundred a week. I don't even talk. I think uh, consider the tollways in Houston, Texas. The tollways, you gotta spend four hundred, sp spend two three hours just to charge a car. You lose the momentum. For me, is losing money. I try to charge it in my house, but the charge was so slow. I could have gone to to Austin ten times. It was still gonna be low. So I got a bad experience with those electric cars. Shout out to all the drivers maintaining and cruising with those electric cars. I know it can be painful, but if you've been doing this for all this time, just go. And like I say, I just got back to driving, so my tolerance level might be a little less than a regular driver. But personally, I don't like these electric cars. Please give me a fuel car and I sauce on that.